Last time on Space Between, we returned to Key West to find our favorite bars and restaurants were open again. Well, at least most of them. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. So one of the best things about this job is when we're down for a few days, we get to invite our friends to come in and hang out with us. We are here in Key West, post COVID, COVID, shut, uh, COVID 2020 shutdown. Um, they're trying to reopen, but they're trying to do it with these crazy little rules. Stipulations. So you have to wear a mask from when you enter the building to where you get to your table, and then you can take them off. Correct. So, doable. this brilliant mind over here came up with this idea of putting masks on a stick so you can just hold them up and because cover your face. This is difficult. Yeah, it's awkward. awkward. And, and you can mess up your hair. Yes. Yeah, and I mean, it's just, it's just not. We don't want stuff around our ears. So, and I've been wanting a way to make a face mask with these on it because yeah. they make it, they make everybody smile. And if you could just make people smile, then go for Come on, how do you not smile? So we're going to mount these. On a mask, oh. on a stick. Yeah. We have we can sell it to the most winning couple. Yeah. Or is there the another person? The highest bidder or somebody. And <laughs> this is what happens when two crafty blondes get inspired by Cindy's COVID creations. <laughs> this is what happens when two crafty blondes get inspired by Cindy's crafty creations. There you go. <laughs> there we go. See? Well, we're, we're ready. Good. We're ready. We are COVID awesome. 19 Key West. We're bringing Key West alive. Holly Dawn. That was it. That's Scott's right there, isn't it? The, 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 oh my the, the, God. This, that's hysterical. It. The one behind it's hysterical. It. Oh, I think we put. That looks um, like the guy from The Hangover. Or I think the, we put Lawn on that oh, one. Oh, that Lawn's that one. Yeah. Okay, so. so I have the privilege finally to meet Choke It, and I thank you. But it would not be a true, true outfit without our Corona Choke and Chip. Absolutely. Is it going to fit over his head? Do we got to make it adjustments? Oh, look at that. Perfect. Oh, oh it's perfect. Out of the old, and out of the TV house. The Corona. Oh, corona Cation 2020. Nice. Whoop, 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 whoop. Super cute. <laughs> oh, he needs a mask. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, yes. Should we draw a little happy face on it? Right inside the shit. Yeah. Yes, yeah, hysterical. Just leave it with a mask. Oh my gosh, Choken, you are styling. I need a picture of that for Instagram. So, with our newfound facial coverings in tow, we headed out to the brewery to grab some lunch. After lunch, we decided to head for town to see what was happening there. As you can see, not everybody was open, like Sloppy Joe's and the green room. But I think, like I said, they're just under construction. Hank's Hair of the Dog has quickly become our new local hangout. It has a great bar, friendly people, awesome vibe, and they have live music every night. And we can't forget Garbo's Grill in the back. This is one of the best food trucks in Key West, bar none. This is also where we got to meet Rob Benton. Can anyone tell me what TV show he was on? plays at Hank's when he's not on tour. He's an awesome musician and really talented. Unfortunately, unless you catch him on a good night, his sets usually wrap up around 10 o'clock. If you want to hear more of Rob's music, shoot on over to his website. 
the sailors cry. Smell the sea and feel the sky. Let your soul and spirit fly into your destiny. So after Rob set, we headed back over to Duval, hung out a little while at Irish Kevin's, and then went right back over to Rick's to visit our buddy Marty and the dirt bags. After Rick's, we headed over to Captain Tony's for one last drink with some locals from Sebring, Scott and Shelby from Sailing Sojourner. And then I got the privilege of escorting the ladies home after a night of drinking. Hurting cats, anyone? Well, I mean, I wanted to make sure the appointment we had at IV and the Keys would be well earned. And if you ever, were ever skeptical, it's worth every penny. Hey! We have the Bruno family extended on board. And um, he is a YouTube follower. We're, apo we're apologizing for it. They are down in Key West after being kicked off for COVID fest. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a fantastic time. So. Welcome aboard. Come on uh, in. Thank you. I have a set sail date for when I'm leaving, and we're you know we're gonna buy a rig and we're gonna go. Okay. You know so. Yeah. When's your sail date? Uh, well, actually, here I can give you. I can give you to the second. To the so second. I, you have a counter? Uh huh. I do have. I do have a counter. Okay, so I'm taking. The, it's ticking. It's it ticking is ticking. Down down the, it is. Um, so there's two rooms. It is. You guys. Two years, two hundred seventy-eight days, fifteen hours, eighteen minutes, thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one, and that is. You heard it here, folks. First, yeah. folks. Yeah. And are you are you going to document it all on a YouTube channel? Uh, yeah. Well, we're already, we're already starting the videos now. Awesome. So, but we don't have a YouTube channel yet, but you know, I'm sure someday. Bum, bum, bum. Everybody keep looking that direction. Oh, wow. How do you know it's a boy? Well, no, he's trying to get down. I, don't, I think he might be hurt. Uh, yeah, that's what Scott said. Scott said he thinks he was hit. They get bubble butt. Or their butt fills with air and they can't. What, babe? Where'd she go? She's, She's right, right here. right here, right in front of us. She's down about 15 feet. But... She's right here. Not quite as fast as the other one. Oh, y'all dug into it before I could get a picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so how is meal one? Meal one is excellent. Great. Perfect food for me. Yeah. Can I ask you something? So where are we headed? Blue key. Blue key. See when we always come and never find one. Where is he? Actually, no, all yours, yeah, that's your mask. There he is, right there. Oh, we're going to match. We both have yellow. God. Hey, buddy. You got the cheese? I think you want to eat the camera. It was so epic to finally see a Goliath grouper or two at Lou Key. So in true Key West fashion, when the sun actually sets, well, no, well that too, but you have to applaud. Ah, okay. <laughs> Scott and I laugh at all the people at Mallory Square all the time because after everybody's standing there watching the sunset and after it goes down, everybody claps. Scott's like, yay, every, the world's doing what it's supposed to do. Well, we've made it through another beautiful <laughs> Yes. Cheers. 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 last night on the space station. I know. This time. This time. Wow, you came and taste.
sorry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shoot. Look at my food. Yes. They're amazing. Look at my amazing food. Just what he said. Yeah. The pineapple salsa. Bye, kids. Flash forward. Let's see. It's 28 hours from when the Bruno family got off the boat. We turned and burned the boat, and then the next day, the evening, we have Mr. Uphold and his beautiful girlfriend Kim arrive, and so now we have spent the night, one night at the dock, toured Key West a hot minute, and we are back out at Luke Key. It's a little rougher than it was the first two days we were here. And we're on the back side of the reef today, but they are professional divers. So they are out amongst everybody snorkeling. They what? They're doing the transit home with us from Key West to Fort Lauderdale. And we'll be back with this again next month with their friends to do the transit back down to Key West. So we are looking forward to having them back. They are great people. And uh Stick along for the ride as we journey back to Fort Lauderdale. It's not always sunshine at Pina Coladas, but the nice little rain did clean the decks off. Now let's enjoy a little drone footage of Boot Key Harbor and Marathon. So as the day is upon us, we head north to Miami, where we had to take a stop in Largo, though, at Dry Rocks to see the famous Jesus statue. Wow. Yeah. And uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I little touched, baby stingrays. So the nurse I was down on the bottom side, so I swam down and touched him go? as it swam away. That was cool. I tried to roll him over and pet him, but he wasn't well, having either. Yeah, no. <laughs> he was not interested. Well, that's cool. And we're off again. All right, so we are at Fowley Rocks outside of Miami. Making an impromptu stop after Kim helped us more hmm. for the successful, what, fourth time now? I think so, yep. She hasn't missed the line yet. Tell me what you think of, um, what the hell is the name of this place again? It's Fowley Rock. Say that one more time. Fowl. Fowley? Fowl. Fowley? Fowl. Fowl Rock. Oh, because of all the fowls that shit on your head? Fowl Rock that pooped <laughs> on my head. <laughs> but it was good for the fish. The fish all came to, to see. Maybe good conditioner. You know? Yeah, it was good your conditioner. Your hair may grow like really Yeah, I mean, uh, fertilizer. Fertilizer. Good fertilizer for that spot on the top of your head. <laughs> but it was Excellent diving, excellent snorkeling, excellent. How deep was it under like there? 
How what? How deep was it under the, the tower? Oh, under the tower was, what, three or four feet? Yeah, it was very shallow because uh, one of the bottom platforms has fallen, so it's, it's raised up on the sand. But it's uh, a lot of fish underneath, a lot of fish on top. Big the birds schools. the birds are all on the tower pooping, and the fish all congregate to the poop when the bird foot. If it doesn't hit you, it's a good thing. <laughs> Actually, it's supposed to be good luck if it hits you. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there you go. There, there you go. go. Good luck. <laughs> all right. with John and Kim. This is their trial run for their real vacation next month. They liked us we're so the much, pigs. they're gonna come back again for the trip in the reverse order. Or are they? Yeah. Or are they? <laughs> we already we, paid, we already yeah. paid, we're in. Yeah. <laughs> no, B, B, no. We'll definitely be back, fantastic trip. All right. Awesome trip, awesome weather, awesome boat. Awesome cooking, what? sort of good captaining. <laughs> when he was awake? Yeah, yeah. The captain sleeps more than I thought he did. <laughs> but we didn't crash. You'll have that. Yeah. That's because he has an awesome first mate that he trusts so much. That's it. That's it. That's it, exactly. <laughs> but looking forward to it. Big group next time will be a lot of fun. All right, Missy, look under your seat. John left something for you. <laughs> There's something on the boat. Can't nobody tell me nothing. 